hello everybody my name is Clancy's and welcome to my youtube channel so if you are wondering what on earth are you holding uh, in your hand this is a wireless microphone that i am uh, holding with my pen as you guys know that we are trying to improve on these streets even though this microphone it's not something that I would recommend for any YouTuber to use because sometimes it gives this static sound uh, on the videos and it's very, very irritating. So sometimes I have to speak a little louder so that I kind of like cover the static sound. If you pay close attention, you will actually hear the static sound. So the joys of using something uh, i'm not quite sure if maybe it's my settings or whatever the case might be but i am planning on buying some really quality microphones very very soon so guys without further ado i want to talk to youtubers uh i'm getting a lot of messages from many youtubers who are getting despondent because they feel like they are working so hard and yet they are not seeing the results that they started their youtube channels for so i don't know why you started your youtube channel i don't know if uh, you thought coming to youtube was going to be an easy thing and then boom bang you're monetized and you're starting to make money and living the life you always desired as you guys know that i started this channel because i wanted to speak to young people who will find themselves on the line of unemployment is it in the line in the line of unemployment and i wanted them to see an alternative in youtube that while you are waiting for the job that you have applied for or you've graduated from university or tv college or whatever and now you're placing uh, the resumes to different companies while you are awaiting that why don't you also start a youtube channel who knows the channel might turn out to be something that you never thought it would be there are a lot of youtubers that started youtube channels while they were still at university and today they're blown up to be these uh, big influencers that they are so just because they started there and i want to tell you something so consider this video before i go any further consider this video as a tip but at the same time a motivational video for youtubers and if you are not a youtuber and you are my or and you're part of this community please do watch the video all the way through you don't have to listen to it just let it run so that you can support the channel and also do leave me a thumbs up so that uh, the algorithm can push this video to more youtubers as well so i do speak now on two topics on the channel it's now court uh cases as well as youtube related matters so this video is for youtubers who are oh somebody that is thinking of starting a youtube channel so anyways let me continue you must understand that every you every big youtuber started on zero every big youtuber that you watch and it's your favorite they started on zero subscribers and the second point that i want to make is that all those uh, big youtubers that started at zero the first three months was a struggle no views no subscribers and yet they kept posting videos on their youtube channels same thing with you your first three months are going to be frustrating they are going to be a struggle you will wake up every morning keep refreshing keep refreshing your studio think uh, uh, trying to see if uh, you've got new subscribers and how that video you posted yesterday is doing how the video that you posted last week is doing how the video that you posted last month is doing two months ago is doing you are going to see no results it's going to look like you are working backwards i understand creating a youtube video is hard work i know that there's some people who think that being a youtuber is easy you just create a five minute video and that's the end they don't know what goes on behind the scenes the research the scripting the setting up the filming and all these bloopers that you see sometimes that we post because our tongues get tied that is real stuff that goes on and let me not don't get me started on editing because editing is the one that is the beast when you are a youtuber it takes time it takes hours 
to put together a YouTube video. And then you still have to export, which can take its own time, and then upload. If your Wi-Fi is good to you today, it will upload within 10 minutes at least. And then if it's going to act up because of load shedding and stuff like that, it will take for hours which sometimes is going to frustrate your upload schedule so i just want to let you know that your first three months are going to be really really hard even your first six months as well can be really really hard again it will also depend on the type of content that you are posting on your channel content that is education content takes a very 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 long time I am a testimony to that because my YouTube channel is an education type of channel and education type of channels do take forever to grow because I'm a patient person and also I'm passionate about what I do. I don't mind that. I don't mind growing at a snail pace versus like entertainment channel somebody can open an entertainment channel today but next week they're already at 1000 subscribers the other week they already have 4000 watch hours and the other week they already made their first 10,000 rand as uh entertainment channels some people can start a vlogging channel vlogging channels as well they are a little bit little shaky when it comes to growth in its first three months again it will all depend on the type of vlogs that you are putting out. If you are putting out luxury lifestyle, then you are going to grow really, really fast because people love to be motivated. People love to see uh, something that to them, they think is out of reach, but somebody else is able to live, live that life. Basically, people live vicariously through you. And if you can create such vlogs, then those vlogs have a tendency of growing pretty fast. But if you are going to create uh vlogs that are ordinary your ordinary life and uh you are not seen in restaurants you're not seen buying something new you are not seen uh, uh what do you call your bedroom uh, having white sheets not just white sheets but linen and things of that nature then of course that channel is not going to grow as fast as you may want to uh if you are going to do finance type of um of content you have to also look at the region you are at africans and particularly south africans when it comes to money i don't think we are that much about it even though we struggle with finances because finance also comes under education this is something that you have to be very patient about especially the growth because it can be really really slow however if you are going to come with uh, videos about how to make money how to make money or like quick money online like uh teaching english in china online or uh what you call this affiliate marketing type of um of videos then there will be a tendency of that channel to grow a little bit faster because you are bringing ideas of employment to people or how to make money online or to people that are already working but they're also looking for other means of income and then you create videos where you're giving them ideas that tends to grow pretty fast versus when you are going to sit down and give financial advice because most of these channels that give financial advice sometimes they are very very technical and they have to be technical so that it makes sense to you so i feel like uh you must not think that you are you are riddled with bad luck and that is why your channel is not growing and things like that no you must look at the fact that you just started out on this platform realistic realistically uh, realistically realistically speaking two years you should give yourself when you start a youtube channel two years realistically but because we are people who want fast results that is why we end up being so frustrated point number three your job is to improve yourself with each video that you post on your channel your first hundred videos are going to determine the type of youtuber you have become let me tell you something by the time you get to your hundredth video this is like maybe two years later if you post once a week there are 52 weeks in a year so if you post once a week 
you will have 52 videos posted on your channel and remember in order for the algorithm or for youtube to really know what your channel is about and then start getting discovered on the platform is usually after 100 videos maybe 100 and 102 to 104 that is why i believe that giving yourself two years in two years time you will have 104 videos if you are posting once a week and that is when you're going to start seeing some traction happening on your channel so with each video you are going to improve and not only are you going to improve you are also going to acquire skills that you never had before like editing skills like talking skills like presentation skills like uh, show and tell type of skills as well you are going to gain experience that sometimes you can even use as a um a passive income if somebody's looking for an editor you can always say hey i've got experience because i have a youtube channel i can edit your videos and then they pay you or maybe you'll be good at scripting youtube videos then uh that's another uh skill that you are going to acquire directing producing because when you are a youtuber you are one person doing many things you are a researcher you are the uh, script writer you are the producer you are the presenter you are the editor you are everything to your youtube channel as just one person doing all of that work those are skills that you are acquiring as a youtuber so look at that in that positive light as well so your first 100 videos they by the by your 100th video you would have seen a lot of improvement and people that will start getting into your community and getting to know you will also say hey i don't know if you've noticed you've improved so much on your videos before you used to be timid you used to be shy or you didn't speak loud enough or confident enough now you are so confident now we enjoy seeing the real you the authentic you it's also important that you be authentic from the get-go point number four I've already mentioned this give yourself time to grow on YouTube give yourself two years so that means once you started a YouTube channel just relax and keep posting consistently on your channel and know that in two years time i will reach the 1000 subscribers and then probably six months down the line i will reach the 4000 hours of watch time even though youtube says within 12 months you should have reached the 4000 hours of watch time uh that can be a little bit impossible sometimes but it's important that your first year you do get the 4000 hours of watch time through what through the content that you are posting on your channel Point number five, the other thing that I've also noticed about new YouTubers, they're saying, oh no, I don't have good equipment to film videos. Or somebody that is thinking of starting a YouTube channel, they are pretty much worried about the film filming uh, equipment. Do not worry about those stuff. Whatever you've got, as long as the audio is correct, it's loud enough, and as well as the lens of your camera phone is good, then you are in business. You are a content creator. Start moving. Point number six, do not get discouraged. Instead, re-evaluate. It's also very important that after three months of starting your YouTube channel and you are seeing no results, let's say you still see two or five or 10 views, maybe it's time to sit down and re-evaluate the type of content that you are putting out. If the content that you are putting out is not producing the type of results you want, maybe you need to start experimenting with your YouTube channel. Start looking at other topics and see after three months how, which, which topic that really got you the views that you've been looking for. And perhaps you need to pivot to that uh, topic and turn it into your niche and then carry on from there because clearly people resonated better with that topic when you when you started experimenting with your channel i've also noticed with my own channel my channel is a slow pace growing because it's an educational channel now that i started speaking about court cases i saw my youtube channel kind of like you know spring up in terms of views and in terms of subscribers so somebody might say hey maybe you need to pivot into court cases type of content and in my mind i'm thinking true i should but at the same time i still want to be uh to give tips tricks and hacks about youtube related matters to new youtubers that may be looking for ways to grow their youtube channels 
Point number seven, that's another thing that I'm noticing from many YouTubers is comparison. You know what? YouTube is a journey. It's a personal journey. No YouTube channel is the same. You and your friend might start a YouTube channel today and you speak about the exact same things uh, on YouTube, but one of you will grow faster than the other. That's because YouTube channels are not the same. I always say they're like fingerprints. No fingerprints. Even twins don't have similar uh, fingerprints. So same goes with YouTube channels. So there's, you're wasting your time when you're looking at another YouTuber. It's like, but they started behind me and yet they're already successful and I'm still struggling to get to 1,000 subscribers. Concentrate on your own journey on these streets. Do not look at another YouTuber. Instead, celebrate that other YouTuber when they are winning. Just like they will celebrate you when you start winning. Your community, as it grows, it will celebrate you as well. Do not compare yourself because if you compare yourself, you are going to drop out. You're going to be discouraged. You're going to struggle with mental health issues. And you are going to be probably even resentful to other YouTubers. Please, whatever you do, do not compare yourself to other YouTubers. Focus on your own journey. Point number eight, treat negative comments in your comment section as empty vessels. If you have taken an empty vessel before and took a stick and hit it, what are you going to get? Noise. Those people are just nothing but noise. I know that you would, uh, you would get great positive comments from many people and there will be that one comment that may mess up everything for you. Maybe they say something about your looks or they will say something about your video or they might say something about something in your video that would discourage you. I know what discourages a YouTuber is the fact that so much hard work I put into this video and there's somebody that's just seen a small little thing and then it can be very discouraging. Do not focus on negative comments. As a matter of fact, treat them as noise and keep it moving. Focus on those that are encouraging you, those that are behind you, those that want to see you win. Negative people, I always say that is their job. They are here on earth with that job and they're just executing their job. That's it. That's how you need to look at them. Uh, don't focus on negative comments. Point number nine, see yourself as a creator. You are a creator. When you sit down and you plan a video, you sit down and outline how you want that video to look like, how you want to sound like, what angles of your camera you would like to take, the type of B-rolls, the type of music that you are going to add on your videos. If you're doing vlogs, where you're going to go to, who you are going to meet, why you're meeting this person, you basically tell a story through your vlogs. So you're a creator. Do not feel like, oh my goodness, everybody call themselves a content creator. What am I? You are a content creator. The moment you press record, that red button, record, you are a creator. So always look at yourself as a creator and always as a creator, make sure that you always evaluate your content. Sometimes before you even upload a video, watch it first and see if this is something that you would watch if you were the audience of that video that is not created by you. Evaluate, analyze. That is why in your studio you will see analytics, go through your analytics, see what exactly is the problem that is making your video not to, uh, to gain views or people do click and watch but they drop off uh, at a pretty early time of your video. Find all those uh, things and fix them because you are a creator. And my last point is never stop thinking about your why you started your YouTube channel. We all have various reasons as to why we started our YouTube channels. So always remember, have that at the back of your head every time you are about to press record. And when you feel lazy as well, remember why you started a YouTube channel to begin with. Do not just let laziness to, uh, to prevail. Because trust and believe me, content creation is not easy. It is hard work, especially when you see that your channel is not moving. You can get discouraged and say, ah, today, nah, mm -mm. anyways, my channel is not growing. You will have an attitude and probably even some resentment. 
do not feel that way. The moment you feel this way, set up and start filming. That's it that I'm going to tell you. Consistency is your best friend as a content creator on YouTube because you might wake up one day with only three videos uploaded or even 30 videos uploaded or 50 videos uploaded and boom, you wake up to 100,000 views and 10,000 subscribers overnight. Those things have happened before. So that is why I would say to you, you are one viral video away every time you post a video. You are one viral video away. Always have that in the back of your mind together with your why you started your YouTube channel. So guys, I hope that this kind of helped because I am seeing a lot of discouraged uh, YouTubers that are DMing me on uh, Instagram. Basically just want to know what is it that I'm doing wrong and why my channel seems to be static, it's not moving. I started my channel with a friend and my friend is already earning money and I'm nowhere near 200 subscribers yet and yet we do the same content. So I said, no YouTube channel on YouTube is the same. Run your own marathon because that is what YouTube is. It is a marathon. It's not a sprint race. If you are going to be sprinting, then you're going to get tired real quick and you will quit. Well, that is it guys. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a like. Anyways, do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Did I ever mention guys that I did turn on my super thanks? Yeah, I do have super thanks by the way. Just letting you know. Also, please do watch the ads because that is very important to, um, of course, to me. I highly appreciate that. And share this video far and wide. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what are your struggles as a content creator who seems uh, not to be moving anywhere with their channels. And also, let me see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.